I've literally just woke, woken up and my <laughs> exam results literally just came through. But yes, so Ella's opened hers and it's time for me to open mine. <laughs> So, yeah, that's one way to start the morning. It it's quite nice because I completely forgot who we were really going to be getting them, so... I did not. I was so nervous. Yeah, Ella hadn't forgot. She was very nervous, yeah. but I completely forgot, so... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my nose is still sort of... It's quite hard to speak a little bit, so... Yeah, but... Alright, I'm going to open these now and we'll see see how I am after after this. <laughs> Oh my god, I am so happy. I my my uh, my work sounds like my work paid off. Um, this summer, like I worked so so hard towards my exams. So yeah, I think they're probably the best results I've had. So I'm really 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 happy. So I'm still absolutely buzzing from my results this morning. Um. I'm so happy because they're the best results that I've had and I worked so, 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 so hard this summer um, for my uni work and it just really feels like it's paid off because um, sort of before Christmas I tried to, I worked hard for stuff then and it didn't really pay off but I've really sort of grafted this time, like put a put a lot more effort in and I feel like it's really really paid off so I'm so happy I'm it's like I'm absolutely buzzing I'm really proud of myself actually so yeah it feels really nice it's got me super excited for third year as well like put the motivation up a big notch um because I really love what I'm doing really really love it but um this is sort of giving me that extra kick like to push me on and like make me want to do even better so yeah, I'm really, really happy. Um, put me in a great mood. So, yeah. And um, in terms of my COVID, I feel absolutely fine this morning. So, yeah. I had a call from Tess and Trace again. They were just asking how I'm feeling and then uh, just confirming that I was going to continue to self-isolate, which I am. Um, I've got seven days left now. So, yeah. I can't believe it's been four already. Jesus. Yeah. It's day five today. Whew. Wow. The task for now is to get some breakfast on the go, and now we've got loads of breakfast stuff, so I'm thinking some Richmond ve veggie sausages, which are elite. I said in a few uh, past videos time um, that I'd rather have them than normal ones, because they're veggie, I probably would. Um, and with some eggs, mushrooms, beans, um, the whole shebang should be gorgeous, so um, we're gonna get going with that now. And I'm hungry, so should slap a little different. I'm looking forward to it. So I am by no means a vegetarian, but I do eat a lot of foliage. And for those who know me, you know that I do. I just love salad and stuff, but um, I do like my meat. And um, however, when I can substitute stuff, I will do it, and this is a prime example, these Richmond sausages taste just as good, if not better, than the meat equivalents, and they're just so much better for, I mean they're meat free, so it's like, why not, I have, there's no reason why I'd want to have meat ones instead of these, and there are certain things that I would substitute, um, because they taste just as good, and it's just better to have non-meat stuff than than meat stuff where where I can, in my opinion. So, um, so corn mints, for example, I think that tastes amazing, and um, it goes really, really well with with all sorts of stuff, and that can replace mints, in my opinion, in a lot of cases, in a lot of cases. Um, also, almond milk as opposed to normal milk, um, that's a really good one, and. Um, yeah, just some, some sort of corn corn bits, really. But I just try and sort of substitute things where I can um, to uh, sort of be a bit more considerate about what I'm eating and, like, my impact on, on the environment and stuff like that because I am quite passionate about it. I'm not crazy passionate, but, like, um, I do feel quite strongly about it. Um, I want to help out where I can. So, yeah, Richmond all the way.
Nah, but it's so good. Fried onion, baked beans, fried mushrooms, some scrambled eggs, sausages, and maybe some white flatbreads. Got Ed Sheeran's new song on. It is a vibe, we are loving it. And um, got sausages in the oven. Oh wait, copyright. The onions and um, mushrooms are spliced. Um, yeah, sorry I had to cut the last clip short because, you know, YouTube doesn't like music, so yeah, um, apologies. But um, we're we're enjoying the vibes. Ella's Ella's feeling a bit more a bit more positive now, aren't you? After yeah. got over your uh, yeah. your exam, she didn't even do badly. She did so well. She did so well. It's just yeah, you know. But um, yeah, had a had a mocker and um, just uh, just slowly chefing up. Forgot my uh, my pants not not flat so. Egg went well. Here's our, our little brekkie. Um, we are missing some hash browns, unfortunately. We um. Yeah, we we were like we realised just a little bit too late that we don't have any hash browns, so we're missing we're missing some carbs at this meal. But you know we'll, we'll live with it. Yeah, they would have really topped it off. Like just just imagine some nice crispy hash browns on there. Like oh, be beautiful, beautiful. So um just just had my first first bite and um lacking in flavour quite a lot. Is it? I can still taste it but barely. Oh no. I think I might have lost my taste. I think it's just my nose though. Yeah, but everything just tastes really bland. Mm. Maybe it's just your cooking. Maybe it's just my <laughs> shit cooking. No, it's definitely not full flavour because even baked beans, like baked beans, are really nice. Mm. How did your mocha taste? Yeah, my mocha tastes fine, I okay. think. Oh, I could only taste the the chocolate, right? Mm, yeah. Hmm. We'll have to do some taste testing and uh, investigate the uh, the situation, but it just, everything just tastes really bland. I'm fairly certain my flavour detection system is malfunctioning. Like, there is, yeah, the flavour is, is pretty much gone now. So, well, uh, I'll try something a bit stronger. Yeah. But, like, I, I really can't taste much of it at all, so. Even the onion? Yeah, even the onion. I can taste the onion a tiny bit, but... But like it's it, I feel like it's got less and less as I've gone along mm. with this as well. So, yeah, yeah. You, Ella's just rubbing her hands like yes, mm. yes. Oh, I can smell it a tiny bit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, I think it's a developing situation. Mm. But, um, my nose is a little bit blocked anyway, so it's kind of hard to say. I've got some mint arrow here. I can just about smell it, but we'll see. It's so weird because I can. I can kind of taste it, mm -hmm. but I can't. Mm, I don't know. I can just about smell it, and I can taste it a tiny bit. So I'm not sure. Oh, my, I feel just really congested. Like, I'm not actually blocked up, but I just feel my nose feels really restricted and it's like hard, to, kind of hard to breathe. It's really annoying. And, um, yeah. Pretty convinced my taste is going. Um, which is actually quite exciting. More than it's, <laughs> more than it's, um, bad. I'm, yeah. Um, so, I am quite excited for that. We've got, got to come up with some... Got to come up with some taste tests, haven't we? Yeah. That'll be very fun. Yeah. Ella's just playing some more Animal Crossing. Done my... I can't really see it. Um, but I've done my... Oxygen saturation and temperature. And that's all good. 
I don't know whether we should be nervous or excited, but one of Ella's housemates is arriving with a, what is it, a gift? A gift, a surprise. A surprise for us. I think they're also bringing us some brownies, aren't they? Yeah. Which is really nice, so thank you guys very much for that. We will definitely, well, I might not enjoy them, so. I will. Ella will definitely enjoy them, so thank you guys very much. The, uh, it's the thought that counts. Yeah. It's the man, the myth, the legend. You are gonna put them through the through the COVID positive window, are you then? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna where the fuck is my bit? Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Guys, thank you so much for these. Um, they will go down a treat, whether I can taste them or not. I appreciate the effort and. Taste them. I will do it. Yeah, we'll do a taste test. We'll do a taste test. Yeah. And um, thanks for the message as well. So yeah, um, we'll do a. Yeah, thank you very much. And we will do a. Yeah, we'll do a taste test now. Yeah. And see if um, I can taste them. Thank um, you. Stay tuned. Right. So we're ready for a bit of a taste test. We are. Emily, Sentha, Joe, Ollie, Ollie, Phoebe. Phoebe. Thank you all thank very you. very much for the brownies. So. Get these out, and I will see if I can taste, taste them. So I'm gonna see if I can smell them. And uh, I can smell them from here. I can up close. You can smell them from there. No, I definitely can't smell them from there. But I can smell them up close. Right, let's uh, give it a gander. Yeah. No, I can't really smell it. Oh no. Can you not taste it? Can you not? What the hell? I actually can't taste that at all. I genuinely cannot taste that at all. It's really it's good. good. It's really good. They taste like such good, they don't taste like such good brownies, but you got like the chocolate chips and the, oh, and the texture's so nice. They're mm -hmm. like, those are proper good brownies. Oh, I'm so good. sad. Mm. But I genuinely, Cannot taste that at all. So, wow. it is pretty official. The, the challenges, the challenges shall start. I'm excited. Um, we can order so, some yeah. interesting stuff. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. There's the verdict. But I'd say based on texture, terrific brownies. They're amazing. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually so so sad that I can't eat them. Mm. So I'm gonna finish this one because it's just. I can just imagine the taste. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. Not um not ideal, but good fun. Mm. Looking forward to it. Oh, I don't know what to eat now. If I, if I can't taste stuff, then what do I eat? Because there's no point like cooking nice food other than for you. Um. What's a really good texture? <laughs> Lettuce. I'm just um... I'll just eat so much foliage. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna. Oh, oh my god, yeah. I, I'll literally just, yeah, just eat a whole lettuce. <laughs> but I'm actually gonna do that. <laughs> People who know me know I'll do that. Yeah. Like I, I would do that yeah, anyway. Yeah, you would. But now I've got an excuse because people say lettuce doesn't taste nice, but it does. I've got an excuse now. So I just thought I'd have a bit of a rummage around in the cupboard and see um, if I can smell anything. So just tried a couple little bits and I can still smell some stuff, so I still don't think it's completely gone. It's like yeah. partially, partially gone, so yeah. We'll see how that changes though throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And um yeah, don't know if I'm ready to chew into a munch into a um a garlic or an onion yet, so we'll hold off on that one for now. We'll get there. Here we go. Okay, I lied. I think I'm gonna try a bit of a bit of red onion, so we uh, raw red onion. I'm just sort of see. Yeah. Can you taste it? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> A tiny bit. Yeah. No, it's more like I can taste like the burning. Like it got oh. like the burning. You can taste the sensation, but like not the actual flavour. There's like no flavour. Yeah. Try. Huh? It's not that bad to be fair. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> so, yeah, I can't taste that. So. <laughs> Gonna put the rest of the brownies in the uh, freezer because they look really good. Ella says they're really good, and I want to be able to enjoy them at some point. So, gonna pop them in the freezer until my taste comes back, and hopefully then I can enjoy them properly. Video numero three is currently exporting, and Olivia Rodrigo, good for you, is in my head because I was on TikTok for 10 minutes this morning, and getting on my nerves a lot. I do not want that song in my head. But we move, we move. Um, and Ella's trying to convince me to play it out loud, so, so I might put it on, just to, you know. That's a bad earworm, that one. Like, there are much better songs that I could, I could uh, think of having stuck in my head. So I'm gonna have to give in to that one, pop it on, but um, I won't give in to it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press and try and get it out of my head because I need to, I need to get out of my head. So yeah, but the uh, third video is done. I'm very happy with that. I couldn't film my, while my uh, footage was transferring over to my computer, but um, Ella and I have played two tournaments of Mario Kart um, and unfortunately I've lost both of them and Ella said if she won then she gets to put mascara on me because she wants to see how long my eyelashes are <laughs> apparently they look very long so I've already lost one but it's fun playing so we're gonna do another another one now anyway um, but yeah I, I will be having some mascara put on me whether that goes in the video or not yet to be decided. I have to see how, how severe the, uh... No, no, no. <laughs> thumbnail... Alright, maybe for the jokes, but alright, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so, one more game, and then I shall be put some mascara on, and then we're gonna cook some dinner, which I won't be able to taste, so... It's gonna be fun. Now ready to face my punishment, so... Ella is gonna do the honours, and, uh... Put some mascara on me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's yes. get let's get cracking. Oh my god, stop it! No, I can even see it in the camera. Oh <laughs> god, what? That's so low. I'm not even nine, nearly. Look how long they are. Isn't that mad? That is pretty mad to be yeah. fair, but that looks awful. But they're so long. Nah, I can't be having this. It's so long. I can go right up to like the root. So. I've got to take that off. That's way too bad. That that that's way more like pronounced than I was expecting. I literally look like a fucking female now. <laughs> oh, it was worth it though. You look beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I've been told been told many a time but anyway there we go i've um completed my end of the, of the deed yeah, so I, I knew they'd be long all right yeah to be fair they are very long like i think my eyelashes have now been restored to their former glory um so we'll just pretend that never happened and we're gonna go cook some dinner now stir fry it is and ella wants to try some corn nuggets with it so, I'm gonna have chicken, like proper chicken with mine, but for some reason Elle wants to try corn nuggets with it, so we can see how that goes. Oh no, I'm sure it'd be great, it just doesn't sound right. Like a good stir fry doesn't make me think it needs corn nuggets in it. But we'll go for it, we'll go for it, we'll give it a go. I mean, it's locked down, nothing's normal, right? Yeah. Um, so, I'm looking forward to some food that I won't be able to taste. Ella just pointed out that, um, yeah, I can't actually smell the chicken or the paprika, so, good fun. Nice. Yeah. I just tried a piece of chicken and I, with some paprika seasoning, and I couldn't taste it at all. So, I've, uh, dosed up the singular nug of chicken with some, um, chilli flakes, so I'm gonna try it and see if I can, I can taste it. So I might taste the chili. 
That's interesting, so I can feel the heat. But you can't taste it? No. I mean, I guess that's to be expected, like, you can still taste the sensation of being hot. Gives you good appreciation for texture, though, so... Mm. Yeah. The, uh, tasting continues. Ella's corn nuggets in the stir fry. We love to see it. And my chicken. I take back what I said about the nuggets. I can't taste them, but texture-wise, they go so well in this. Like, they're very good. Yeah. It's crazy. I literally just took a took a mouthful of this, and I cannot taste it at all. It's so strange. That's so sad. Oh, it's so strange. But um, yeah. The um, it's surprising how much the texture actually. Like, I wouldn't just eat anything. The texture actually makes it enjoyable um so yeah i've also whacked a bunch of chili flakes on top try and help clear my sinuses definitely will do that yeah so that should be refreshing to say the least the vlog is up and um the viewers are satisfied it was up on time and managed to find a bit of a thumbnail for it and whatnot. So that's a successful mission. Um, nose is still really bothering me, but um, I'm gonna have to live with that. One question I had was, is Diet Coke gonna taste like fizzy water or what? So Ella just cracked open a Diet Coke. I'm gonna head over and we're gonna give it a taste test and see. I don't know what I'm trying to smell Diet Coke. You can't really smell Diet Not Coke, really, can you? No. How does it taste? That's weird, because it doesn't taste like fizzy water. Yeah. Because it's got that, like, flat... It doesn't taste like ...sugary static. consistency, almost. Mm. Yeah, it just tastes like slightly flat water. How exciting. Slight, slightly flat fizzy water. Definitely can't taste the Diet Coke part though. It is refreshing. But what a strange sensation. Very strange sensation. According to my critics, um, the third video has in fact been the best one so far, so we're moving up in the world, guys. Yeah. Um, hopefully more Ella content more Ella good. content just giving giving the people what they want yeah. um, but hopefully I reckon we can improve on that I think yesterday's one was pretty good um, and today's probably decent yes today's probably very good as well but um, it's good to know that it was the best one because yeah 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 that's, that's good to know that's good to know um, oh yeah by the way that was a I don't know if I'll include the clip, but um, it was Joey's birthday today, and that was just um, a little FaceTime call with Joey, because he was opening the presents that we got him, and uh, had a bit of a phone call with the parents, catch up with them, and uh, yeah. Um, on another note, we're going to play some Overcooked 2, which is a new game that Ella purchased for her Switch, yeah. so we're going to see if we can do some, some of that, and yeah. uh, we'll let you know how it goes, and what it's like. It's sort of a multiplayer cooking game, so... It's supposed to be quite chaotic. It is. I'm sure it'll work perfectly for us. Yes. Get some, uh, yeah, get the energy going in the room. Mm-hmm. Mario Kart vibes, maybe. Ooh. Some aggressive behaviour. Yes. The usual. Sorry, I'm currently using my, uh, my phone light to um, light myself up. We've just finished watching an episode of of Loki and we are off to sleep now so yeah we played loads of the um cooking game that Ella got it's a two player game we played loads of that for like a few hours FaceTime mum and dad and um we are just off to sleep now I think it's like half twelve is it oh no half eleven so we are just about to head off to sleep so yeah Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today. See you tomorrow.